What's going on guys, it's Epoxy, back with a PSA kind of thing, I guess you could say. Now, this is a PSA for anyone that often updates their NVIDIA drivers or even have them set to do so automatically, which I actually don't suggest. A lot of issues can come up if you allow the drivers to update automatically because some drivers they're not always consumer ready. So you may have found that recently Follow 3, Follow New Vegas, and even Oblivion all crash after loading or creating a new save. So what I mean by that is the game crashes at the end of the load screen, typically when you just be loading into the game. And well, the other day I actually found the reason for this occurring. So it does seem that the latest three Wickle drivers from Nvidia either dropped support or broke the games unintentionally. This isn't going to affect everyone as PCs are one hell of a mystery when it comes to problems like this, especially with drivers and supporting all sorts of hardware mashups. So if you've been affected, I'll go ahead and give you a rundown on how you should be able to fix it. So essentially, drivers beyond 368.81 completely break the games. At least for me, it may be different for you as once again, it's a complete mystery when it comes to this. So that means I cannot update to any of the latest drivers 372.54, 372.70, and 372.90, which all render Oblivion, Fall 3, and New Vegas impossible to play without rolling back to at least the driver 368.81. For me, this is terrible since I not only play new titles on a daily basis that utilize these drivers, but I also launch New Vegas and Fallout 3 daily to either play, to test mods, or to make future videos. So for me this sucks, and for anyone else that's affected by this, and play Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, and Oblivion. And the reason why this really sucks is Fallout 3 was already a pain in the ass to get working in the first place on PC. I have something like three videos on how to get it to work because it's, in quotes, not optimized for Windows 7 and later. But now Fallout 3, New Vegas, and Oblivion won't work at all without rolling back my Nvidia drivers. And this is the same case for, at least from what I've seen online, quite a few people. I know these games are decently old, but they do still have a pretty good sized player base in my opinion. Fallout New Vegas especially, and it's the biggest reason this needs to be resolved if Nvidia can figure out what's going on. As right now there are over 3,300 people playing it on Steam as of me making this video. And over 128,000 people have played it over the last two weeks, which is insane. And having three game-breaking drivers for even this game alone is a huge issue in my opinion. This problem could just become even more widespread than it is now if these drivers don't already affect a large portion of people's games. New Vegas was only released six years ago. That's not that long ago, especially for a Bethesda game that is still getting amazing mods to this date. I have no other games that are affected by these drivers. I'm not really someone who knows how drivers work and how exactly just these three games would be broken because at least for me, Skyrim's not broken, Fallout 4's not broken, so I'm not quite sure what's actually going on. It could be something messed up with DirectX 9. I don't see Nvidia just dropping support for these titles and I personally believe this is some sort of issue within the latest drivers that we can hopefully get Nvidia to notice and resolve. And I actually want to know whether this is even a widespread issue or if it's just a small number of people that are more vocal on forums and such and I just have really shitty luck to be a part of that small group of people affected. So I'll leave a poll on this video in that card is showing up in the top right of the video. But that's really all I wanted to go over in this video. I'd love to know your thoughts on this, so leave it down in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to smack that like button down below and subscribe to join the good fights if you haven't already. It would be super greatly appreciated. In addition, check out sugarbomb.com. The link is in the description. So anyways, until next time, this is Epoxy signing off. Today.